Are you curious about the potential of blockchain technology for things such as finance and supply chain management? The revolutionary technology is poised to change the way we conduct business. But what exactly is it and how can it be used? Dive deeper into the world of blockchain and discover many potentials of this cutting edge technology within this video. So let's get started with the topic. First quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. All right, now let's get right into this video. Before we start, I do want to say that all the links you will need for this video and everything we will talk about will be down in the description. So now let's get started with the topic. The first thing we need to talk about when talking about the secrets of blockchain and everything you need to know is obviously what is blockchain technology and what are blockchains. So very simply said, blockchain is a secured, shared, immutable ledger that facilitates the process of recording transactions and tracking assets in a business network. So an asset can be tangible, such as a house, car, cash, or land, or intangible, such as intellectual property, patents, copyrights, branding. Virtually anything of value can be tracked and traded on the blockchain network, reducing risk and cutting costs for all involved. Now, this is simply what a blockchain is. I will show some more examples a bit later. There are multiple blockchains that exist right now, and all of them have different properties and things they are specialized and good in. Now, there are multiple reasons why blockchain technology is important and also why it's growing like it is. So business runs on information and the faster it's received and the more accurate it is, the better. And blockchain is ideal for delivering that information because it provides immediate shared and completely transparent information stored on an immutable ledger that can be accessed only by permissioned network members. So a blockchain network can track orders, payments, accounts, production, and much more. And because members share a single view of the truth, a blockchain is what it is and you cannot change it, you can see all the details of a transaction end to end giving you greater confidence as well as new efficiencies and opportunities. So blockchain has some key elements which I wanted to talk about and then later on I'll show you some more interesting stuff of how a network can look like but also some other illustrations and some other explanations I think are valuable to you. So there are three key elements to a blockchain. It's distributed ledger technology which is also sometimes used as a synonym for blockchain technology DLT, immutable records and smart contracts. So to start off with distributed ledger technology basically this means that all network participants have access to the distributed ledger and its immutable record of transactions. With this shared ledger, transactions are recorded only once, eliminating the duplication of effort that's typical of traditional business networks. Apart from that, about immutable records, no participant can change or tamper with a transaction after it has been recorded to the shared ledger or to the blockchain. So if a transaction record includes an error, a new transaction must be added to reverse the error and both the transactions are then visible forever. And then last of all, smart contracts are also a key element of a blockchain. So basically to speed up transactions, a set of rules called a smart contract, which right now are very, very well developed, but in essence, they are a set of rules. And this smart contract is stored on the blockchain and executed automatically when you interact with it on the blockchain. And a smart contract can define conditions for corporate bond transfers, for example, include terms for travel insurance to be paid and much more. So you can already see that there are so many use cases for blockchain technology and the different elements on top of it. All right, so here you can see how a simple blockchain such as the Bitcoin blockchain network works. That is only with transactions. So this is how a transaction would work. Basically, it's requested. The transaction is then added to a block together with other transactions. The block is sent, it's distributed throughout all the participants in the network, it's validated, and then the block is added to the existing blockchain, and there it is, and it can no longer be altered, can no longer be changed, the transaction is recorded. And smart contracts are something of networks different than Bitcoin's distributed ledger technology or Bitcoin's blockchain. Smart contracts can, for example, be made on the Ethereum blockchain, and this is very simply said how they work, and they can be used for different things like the examples that we just talked about, but also insurance and decentralization centralized finance. So basically what it is, is it's a predefined contract that's set on the blockchain Then different events can trigger it. It executes based on those events and the settlement is automatically recorded and all without someone or a middleman having to do the task. So now finally, let's talk a bit about blockchain security. So when building an enterprise blockchain application, so basically a blockchain designed for an enterprise, it's important to have a comprehensive security strategy that uses cybersecurity frameworks, assurance services, 
and the best practices to reduce risks against attacks and frauds. This is something that should definitely be taken into consideration when building your own blockchain application, but usually when you use different parties that create this enterprise blockchain application for you, this is one of the key priorities. All right, so with that, we have reached the end of this video. We talked about blockchain. Again, if you have more questions about it, if you want to check out the content, the links will be down in the description. But for now, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to add a like and add comments with questions I might have missed and subscribe to our channel.